So we're at the Cheesecake Warehouse, and Charlotte comes over. We're in her section. Nice. And I said, Charlotte, I want you to take away this fork and knife and bring me some pork I can eat with a spoon. <laughs> she laughs and probably forgets about her blind son for a moment. But when the pork comes, oh, my God. What is it, Steve? It was stringy, tough, chewy, even. I had to ask for my knife and fork back. <gasps> Charlotte had to do the walk of shame to the utensil station. And I went home with a gut full of hard pork. Yo, couldn't help but overhear. You boys in the market for some soft pork? Oh, dear. You want the perfect pork? You gotta get yourself a slow cooker. Get out of here, Tim. You're not even a real pervert. A slow cooker really makes that much of a difference? After you do a slow cook, you'll never look at pork the same way again. Whoa! Message received, buddy. Before I give you this, there's one thing to remember. The slower the cook, the better the taste. The slower the cook, the better the taste. The slower the cook, the better the taste. Oh! <gasps> That guy's so weird about pork. Anyway, I'm Batman. All right, the roast is finally done. Eight hours without food. It's like I'm a poor. Wait, remember what the salesman said four times in the alley? The slower the cook, the better the taste. I say we double the time. Or why stop there? Let's double the double. Uh. This pork isn't coming out until it's absolutely perfect. Well, I've always said I'm not going to come out until I'm absolutely perfect. <laughs> what are you boys doing? It's been a week, Steve. The meat's falling off the bone. The bone? All that flavor trapped in the bone. What if we cook the bone down to a jelly? And then the jelly down to a broth? And then the broth down to a reduction? You're playing God with pork. Just let us eat. I knew you guys couldn't handle the pressure of a slow cook. Luckily, I'm ready. Looks like you boys brought hands to a crossbow fight. But I want food now. Barry, tied yourself over with a... Don't you say it, Steve. Don't you dare tell me to eat another nature's harvest bar. I can't. <laughs> My poops. <laughs> They're like drywall. We did it, friends. We cooked the perfect pork. Wish you could try it, but you're all dead. Oh, God! The meaning of the dream is so clear! I gotta share this pork with my friends immediately! Guys, I'm sorry I got carried away with the slow cooker, but my pursuit of perfection was not totally in vain, because like the pork, our friendship has been simmered to perfection. Let's eat! Mm. Mm. Oh. Divine. <laughs> Yet it leaves something behind. Metallic, maybe? Furry. Almost moving. With perhaps maggoty undertones? <laughs> Who gave you the stupid idea you could eat 12-day-old pork? He did! He's pigs! He's pigs! Ah, I gotta restrain this one. He's on to us. This isn't an ambulance! It's a goddamn ambulance! <laughs> pigs. Pigs everywhere. They're all pigs. I think Steve ate a lot more than us. Yeah.